hello and welcome back to my channel today i wanted to go ahead and do baby boys nursery tour it is a little bit cloudy but the sun is poking in a little so the lighting isn't the best but we're just gonna make it work because my doctor is making it sound like he is going to be here sooner rather than later and so i just want to get this video done and up before he gets here um, because I know I'll probably not get to anything once he's here and it's already been hard enough to do anything while I've been pregnant because it's just it makes you more exhausted all the time um but I wanted to go ahead and show you my 35 week bump baby boy is definitely higher than he was most of my pregnancy I felt like I was carrying low um, and now he's high and I feel him in my ribs quite a bit. Um, but yeah, my belly is hard now too. I feel like I'm getting big because this baby boy is big. Um, he is measuring a little bit ahead. So that is why my doctor thinks he will probably come soon. Um, but we'll see. Um, anyways. I did want to give everyone a little bit of a backstory if you haven't seen my previous videos, if you're new to my channel. Um, last year, our firstborn was born still, and um, this is our first time setting up a nursery. Um, and so it's been a very bittersweet process, um, but I'm very thankful to have our nursery in our house um, and just to be here um, and able to do this with baby number two. But it has been definitely very bittersweet and there will be a few things in his room that um, honor our daughter um, that was born last year. And yeah, I just wanted to share that before I get started. Um, because some of the things you'll see in his room um, honor her or have to do with her. And I just want everyone to know about her as well. And um, yeah, I just figured that might be helpful. So I will go ahead and show you guys around, give you a little tour of Baby Boy's Nursery. I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys his little crib area first. Um, I had originally planned on getting like the Ikea really light like wood crib with like no stain on it but they have been out of stock since I've been pregnant and so I finally went ahead and just ordered this wood crib off Amazon which changed up a few things that I was like planning for the nursery because we were also going to get like a matching dresser with the wood crib um but it was really hard to find a dresser that actually matched this wood and so we ended up going with something different but i do like having a wood crib in here and i didn't want a white crib since we were painting the uh nursery white or <laughs> not white it was white we painted it blue i wanted to um have just like more woods in here just so it looked a little more warm rather than cool because um i just figured if the room is blue and everything's white it's gonna be super cool toned and we still have white things in here um but i just wanted some wood here and there to kind of warm up the room so here is his crib. It took me a while to kind of like figure out what I wanted to do in this little nook because I wanted his theme to be blueberry um, because when I first was pregnant with him, I saw this blueberry like swaddle or like duvet or something. I don't know. It was advertised on my Pinterest and I was like, that is so Remy. Um, if you haven't noticed, our son's name is Remington Psalm, and we call him Remy and blueberries. When I saw them on that swaddle, I just really thought of him. And so I definitely wanted to do a blueberry theme, 
but it was kind of hard to find blueberry things. Um, and the things I did find were like, like $200 for a crib sheet. It was just like crazy. And so we do have a blueberry swaddle over here. Um, and I had planned to hang a large blueberry print, um, which I did get the print, but I had a hard time finding the perfect frame. And, um, so I ended up not hanging it. <laughs> and instead I went ahead and just ordered this name, uh, flag, I guess, if you will, for him. And I really love seeing his name in his room. We really love his name and it's just sweet to see it up on the wall. I did a green sign even though his walls are blue because his rug has a lot of blue and green in it and so I didn't want everything to be blue or cream so to add another color I did green and I really like how it looks. And then over here we have a little canopy for him. This happened when I decided not to hang that big blue berry print because I was looking for a frame and I couldn't find one and came across um, boy rooms with canopies, which I originally was not thinking because I liked the idea of a canopy, but I had only really thought about it for a girl's room. And then when I was looking for different ideas since I couldn't find that frame of, <laughs> I was looking through Pinterest to try to find something different and I came across some boys rooms with canopies and I was like, this looks so great in a boys room. Like why did I never think of that? So I ordered the canopy and after getting the canopy, I thought it'd be perfect just to get the name sign instead. Originally the name sign was gonna go over here, blueberry print here, um, but I really like the cozy feeling that the canopy brings. I like having one of these flags instead of a frame because he has other frames all throughout his nursery and it was just becoming like so so much on the wall so much clutter framed things on the wall and so I really like that this kind of like brings something different to the room. And then I have his snuggle me here just until he gets here because I don't want the cats laying on it. But he won't be sleeping with a snuggle meat and he actually won't be sleeping in his crib right away. We have a bassinet for him to put in our room. Um, but I threw a pillow I already had that went with the canopy and the sheets. It has white and cream stripes. Um, so it tied that in and then somebody got me this Winnie the Pooh pillow for my baby shower. So I just stuck it in there. Um, it says a snuggly sort of day, Winnie the Pooh. Um, it also has a rainbow on this side because he's our rainbow baby, but the colors looked a little girlish to me. So I thought this side would be better for his nursery. Also, I wanted to add that we obviously won't be having these pillows or anything in his crib except for the mattress with the sheet um, when he's actually sleeping in it. But like I said, he's not going to be sleeping in it at first. And so I just thought it made for a little cozy corner to have those pillows and the canopy and everything like that. Um, but one of my favorite things that you can't really see because there's a sheet on it is his mattress. We got the Newton mattress and I'm just really happy to have it um, because I have been a lot more anxious this pregnancy and just I know I am going to be a little bit anxious when he's here too um, after the loss of our daughter I just wanted to have the most peace of mind about him when he's sleeping or anything to prevent anything from happening and so I'm just really happy to have this mattress and when we got it we could easily breathe through it and it also feels very comfy for him and so I'm just really happy about that. It's like my favorite thing in his nursery <laughs> and um, I'm hoping he likes it too. Down here we have these blankets and a basket. I know you can't see it from down there so I picked it up but there's a blanket that says his name Remington. My friend made me this sweet little quilt that goes with his room perfectly 
I have lots of little muslin swaddles and blankets in here. And I just put it down here because this area looks super cozy and I thought a blanket basket would add to the coziness. You can see the curtains a little bit in this view. And so I thought I'd go ahead and talk about those. We have some room darkening curtains. I don't think they're blackout curtains, but they're room darkening. And then we also have blinds that close. And so the room's able to get pretty dark. Um, but I really liked these curtains. And as soon as I realized we were gonna paint his room blue, I knew I wanted these curtains because I think they're just the cutest little boy curtains. And they add like, I don't know. I just think they're really sweet in a boy's room. So I really liked those curtains and I think they look really good with the color of his room, which is, let me think, Stardew by Sherwin-Williams. Um, so we ended up going with this color. We were looking at lots of different colors. I originally had this like really light gray bluish green color picked out. But I was planning on painting his room blue because, I don't know, I just wanted to make it like personalized to him, if that makes sense. Like all our rooms are like white for the most part and this room was white which is like a great color for a nursery. Um, but I just really wanted to make it like seem like his room and because I thought of him with like blueberries and stuff. I don't know. I just wanted to paint his room blue. And so I had originally thought about going for that more neutral gray greenish blue color. Um, but I was like, I'm going to go a little more blue. And so we went with Stardew, which we really like this color. It's just soft and calming. And yeah. It's the perfect little blue for his nursery. This is where I spend most of my time in his nursery, <laughs> in his glider. I love this glider. It is so comfy and I love the color of it. I love the shape of it. Everything about it I love and I come in here throughout the day and I sit in here before going to bed and just rock. I read to him or just relax with a drink because it's just very calming for me to be in here and I love dreaming about what it will be like when he's in here with me and I'm rocking him in his chair and uh, it just makes me happy to think about and yeah I just love this chair because I get to look at his nursery and just dream about our baby. I hung some books above this glider because I had originally planned on hanging our bookshelves lower. I've had these shelves forever. They've been in this room, in different areas of this room. While it's been a guest room, a spare room, we've just hung them throughout this room. And I had thought we would maybe paint them. Um, but after putting everything together, I was like, you know what? They look fine white. So. I kept them white and instead of hanging them lower, I decided to hang them higher because I thought it would be really nice to have like a table with a lamp and a place to put a cup while I'm in here because I'm sure I'm going to be very thirsty all the time if I, Lord willing, get to breastfeed, which I'm really hoping to. Um, so I thought... I want somewhere to put a drink. I want somewhere to put a lamp. He does have the hatch sound machine, but it's in our room right now because that's where he'll be sleeping at first. But later on, we'll probably move that in here. So I just needed like a surface to put all that stuff. And so I went ahead and hung his books right above me. And it might seem hard to get to, but this chair like swivels. It's easy for me to get back here, grab some books, but I put a few different books that I thought looked really cute with his room. He has more books than this in his closet down there. Um, and then I just added like a rainbow toy and this little wooden rainbow that my mom got me um, after she found out we were pregnant with our rainbow. 
Um, and then I added this cute little bunny from the like, I love you to the moon and back stories. Or I love you so much, or I thought it was that bunny. Wait, guess how much I love you. Yes, that's what the book is. <laughs> um, but it says I love you right up to the moon in the back here. But it was just the perfect little size to add to his shelf. And I think it looks really cute up there. And then over here, I added framed artwork that we already had in our house. Um, like I said, I was trying to do a blueberry theme. Um, but one day I saw these frames and I was like, honestly, the colors in this art are like the colors of his nursery. Like they go perfect with his rug, perfect with the wall color, lots of blues and greens. And so I decided to hang those two. And we also had that one. And so I ended up just hanging all this artwork that we already had. So most of the stuff on the walls are things that we already had. So that helps save a lot of money um and I figured if I ever want to I can switch one out for a blueberry print but for now these artworks that are in there already just are really cozy and comforting and peaceful and I like them as I mentioned before I wanted a table in here we had this nightstand already. Um, it was a really dark, like cherry-like wood. And so I painted it um, a color that we already had in our house in our half bath. And I did that because it was like the perfect green. It goes with all the art. It goes with the rug. It's kind of a slightly darker shade of that green that's in his name sign. And so I thought, I'm going to save some money and just paint this green to go in his nursery. So over here I have this cute lamp from Target. It was super cheap and I thought this would be perfect until we get his hatch sound machine in here. But I love having this on like all day because it's such a cozy light. I hate having the overhead light on because it's just not as pretty of a color or cozy of a feeling. And so I love having this lamp. That will be great when I get up to breastfeed because I think I'm just going to come in here because it's right across from our room. Um, but we'll see. I thought if I do want to breastfeed at night, I can easily just turn on that lamp and do that. So we'll see what ends up happening. Maybe I'll breastfeed him in our room. Maybe I'll come in here. But during the day, we usually just have that lamp on all day. And then at night, we have it on until we go to bed because it's such a cozy five in here with that lamp on and then I have this wooden rainbow that says every good and perfect gift comes from above James 117 and these wooden blocks that say his name and then down here we have books I have this basket right now it has a ton of nursing things like a haka cup it has his monitor um, little screen. His monitor is hung up there above his crib. Um, and then it has his outlet for now because we don't need to use that, but we will need to use it once he's here. And I'm kind of making this little area of my nursing station. And so I thought I'll just put the haka and stuff in a basket right there because in this drawer, let me go ahead and grab the camera to show you. In this drawer, I have nursing pads. I have milk bags. I have some extra burp cloths because I thought I'm probably going to be nursing him in this chair. It will be nice to have those things. I have the haka under there. So this is my little nursing station. Calming little nursing station. And up close, I wanted to show you the little wooden Remy sign and Remy rainbow. <laughs> Remy rainbow. It, I guess it doesn't say Remy on it, but it's a little rainbow for him because he's our rainbow baby. Um, and there's the lamp. And that looks really bad because I put my drinks on it often. So <laughs> there we go. So the last little corner of his room to show you is this changing area. So... We have just a dresser and I got this dresser because 
We needed a small dresser for this room, but I wanted to have as many drawers as possible because that's where I want to keep all his clothes that he'll be wearing. So I like this dresser because it had the three drawers, like most small dressers, but then it also had the two drawers on top. And I switched out the knobs it came with for these wicker knobs because his crib goes perfect with them, um, as you can see. So it kind of tied in the crib with the dresser and I really like that. And then because it's gonna be his changing station, I added a little changing pad on top with a changing pad cover. Right now I have this cute little onesie that someone just got me. I just washed it and haven't put it away yet um, because I just think it's so cute. It says little brother, which I love seeing or getting things that say little brother. Um, and I liked that it was in the shape of a rainbow. So <laughs> I have it out for now. I kind of wanted to take a picture of it and I haven't yet. So that's why it's out. I've been storing kind of like his bouncer and his jungle gym or play gym, <laughs> whatever it's called, over in this corner because there's a little bit of space and it's just a good way to put it away. Well, we're not using it, but when he's here, we'll have him out and about. Um, and then I have, just for now, a little tiny trash can because I was a nanny and didn't really love the way genies were. Like, I felt like they really stunk up the room, so I prefer just throwing diapers in the trash. And I thought getting a small trash can, I can, like, empty it, hopefully at the end of the day. Like, I hope he doesn't have way too many diapers to the point where I can't fit them in there. But um, I figured that's a good way to keep the smell like not smelling so bad is just to have a small trash can to get out at the end of the day. And if it ends up not working, I can always get a genie. But as you can see, there's greens and blues in here. So when I saw the green and since we painted this green and added other things with green, I thought it'd be perfect. Wow, he has never gotten up here. Nope. Not allowed. <laughs> I officially trained the cats not to go in the crib. And I thought they weren't going to try to come up here because they had it yet. But apparently, now I had to train them not to go up here either. <laughs> so to the right of his little changing table is a picture of his sister Shiloh. Um, and then a print underneath that says, I have an angel watching over me and I call her sister. When I saw that, it like made me cry so hard. Um, and I knew I wanted it in his nursery. And I always knew I wanted a picture of Shiloh in his nursery. So I thought this was the perfect little spot to hang it. When I'm changing him, he can look up at his sister. And um, as he gets older, I can tell him about her and just how she's watching over us from above. Um, I don't want to cry, but um, yeah, I love having that sweet little corner in his room and I think it will be sweet for him to like see a picture of his sister in his room. My sister has a picture of Shiloh in her daughter's nursery and <laughs> her daughter likes to look at it while she's nursing and I just think it's so sweet and I knew I wanted that for him. Um, Ooh. Anyways, um, up here, I just hung this little flag that, I don't know, it's not a flag, honestly. Those are like wooden little triangles, but I hung those up there because my mom had gotten them because they had rainbows in them. <laughs> so I hung that up there because I thought it went with his room. And then over here is his monitor that I was talking about. I had to turn on his cozy little lamp because it is getting so dark outside. Um, it's like midday, like lunchtime, and it's already this dark because it's such a cloudy day and it's winter and it just gets darker earlier. It's really crazy. Um, but I did want to go ahead and show you through his drawers really quick. Um, over here, I have just like some diaper wipes. I have these, I have honest ones. I have water wipes. 
I just put these in here because it was a pack of two and I opened it and it fit pretty well in there. But I have water wipes in his diaper bag and like in our room that I might try first. Um, and then in here, this is actually a bassinet sheet, but it's the same size as the changing pad covers. So I just put it in there with them. But these are changing pad covers. I meant to order a big tube of baby aquaphor, but I ordered two travel sizes. <laughs> so I need to order that still. Um, and I'll just put it there as diaper rash cream. And then I have some newborn diapers in there. And then over here, I have, okay. So in here, I do need to organize a little better. I was going to get like a ton of like little storage dividers um, or drawer dividers are what they're called, I think. <laughs> but I was like, oh, I don't need them. And then as I was putting things in this drawer, I was like, uh, I might need them. Um, but right here, I have like beanies. Over here, I have just hats. I threw his binkies and pacifier clips in here, but I need to sanitize those and then I'm going to put them in like a little um, jar of sorts so they won't just be like in his clothes <laughs> and with his like socks and stuff. But over here are his like mittens and his socks and it might be nice to get like a little divider, one for socks, one for mittens, and then I have changing or not changing, but burp claws over here. Um, so that's the two top drawers. Over here, I have just his newborn clothes and there's way too many newborn clothes. I feel like this is more than he will like need, but we were gifted like all of these or like hand-me-down those. Those are hand-me-downs. I was gifted like all of these and more like Lulu hand-me-downs. This one was Shiloh's. Um, so I wanted him to wear this and I want to pass it down to like all our kids. Um, it's like the one the outfit of hers that I'll probably like pass down um, to our other kids. And I just want him to sleep in that his first night home. <laughs> um, and then I have some white onesies. I have... I have matching pants for this, but it's in his hospital bag because it's going with his take-home outfit. But um, I have some like little outfits. These are pants. More clothes than we'll probably need because I feel like they're only a newborn for <laughs> sometimes a couple of weeks, sometimes a couple of days, sometimes a month. But um, yeah, this is definitely more than we need and we're grateful for it. Um, but yeah. And this next drawer is his zero to three. So these are all of his like pajamas. And then I have shirts, pants, like one piece outfits. I could organize it better, but honestly, I think I'll just leave it like this. <laughs> I'm not too worried about getting a ton of drawer dividers and stuff for this area. Maybe as time goes on, I'll change my mind, but for now, I'm good with how it is. And then down here, this is like the month I bought the most clothes for. Most of them were like gifted, like most of these clothes, most of these clothes. Um, actually, I did buy a lot of matching sets. Like everything I bought is like a matching set, like those two. <laughs> um, so that's why I love his little three to six month drawer because tons of matching sets that I bought for him. And then we were gifted some cute little sweater onesies and my sister got him like a sweatshirt onesie that will be cute to dress him in. I got him all these um, really neutral, pretty colored um, pajamas. And then we have some like really fun prints for him over here, so. That is his dresser. I wanted to like have his first couple of months in here. Um, and then I stored the rest in his closet. <sighs> I'm running out of breath so bad. I feel like that whole video is like, 
<laughs> but anyways, um, that is pretty much Baby Boy's nursery tour and all his little things. We do have a Mama Roo that's not in his nursery and a bassinet that's not in his nursery just because he has a pretty small nursery and I didn't want to store all that in here. So we have it in Jyla's room right now um, until he's here. I'm sure we'll move like the Mama Roo into the living room and the bassinet into our room. But for now it's in there. But pretty much you saw most of his things and yeah. This is his nursery. I'm very excited and looking forward to him being here and getting to like be in his nursery with him. And like, it's just like so special and sweet to think about. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Maybe if you're pregnant, you got some ideas for your baby boy's room or maybe you're just like me and like to watch people's nursery tours even before you're pregnant um so thank you for watching either way and i will see you in my next video